the classic one that you all know about is hemoglobin A1c. So that's the hemoglobin combined with high sugars forms hemoglobin A1c, right? So it does make that A1c dysfunction. But of course, this reaction is occurring to almost all the proteins in our body. So the diabetic patient with high sugar has a lot of advanced glycation end products throughout his body, which is why his eyes go bad, his brain goes bad, his vasculature goes bad, he gets coronary arteries, he gets renal failure, he gets peripheral neuropathy, he gets sarcopenia, he gets liver disease, he gets all these things, right? Because all his molecules in his body are not able to work properly because of advanced glycation end products, right? So there's an endogenous micro, my, uh, uh, advanced glycation end products which is constantly occurring in all of us. It's occurring in all of us. That's why you all need to do some intermittent fasting to get rid of them also, bring your sugar levels down. And that's a talk that I've given before that you've got to keep your sugars nice and low so you don't get a glycation end product. But did you know that what you do to your food creates advanced glycation end product? 